Hello! I'm making this video today to try and help other ladies who also have their concealed carry weapons permit and who need help figuring out their concealed carry options. It can be extremely hard to find an on-body carry method that comfortably works for a female because our bodies are shaped obviously much differently than a man and we tend to wear more fitted clothing. Not to mention women's clothing. Most of it is made to be fashionable, not functional. And most women don't want to opt for frumpy looking clothing in order to conceal a gun. Even though it's not a good idea to keep switching where you wear your gun on your body, women do need more than one option if they want to conceal carry every single day. I'm just a regular girl with her CPL and I've bumped along on the search for my own perfect concealed carry methods. I'm 28 years old, 5 foot 4 and 120 pounds, and I'm opting to remain anonymous for privacy reasons. Most of the holsters I will be showing in this video are for the Ruger LCR, which is the gun I usually carry. All the guns in the holsters today that I'm showing are unloaded and there's no ammunition around. Above all else, I do want to emphasize safety first. Always point your gun in a safe direction and always make sure that your gun is unloaded when trying on and experimenting with different holsters at home. Here is the NRA bag in which I keep a lot of my holsters, a lot of my safety gear, and range items. This is my favorite holster that I wear the most. I've already done a video review of this. It is an in the waistband holster made by Crossbreed. Although I love that holster, it's not always possible for me to wear an in the waistband holster because some of my pants are too tight for an in the waistband holster. This is a shoulder holster that I've got. I keep two speed loader strips in there, speed strips. Here's an ankle holster that I've got. That one's really comfortable. This is a thigh holster that I really love. It was custom made for my thigh measurement. It's made of leather on an elastic band. This is an on the waistband holster that I have that slides onto a belt. Um, here is a pocket holster that I have. It doesn't actually fit into any of my pockets because women's pockets are very small, but that holster is still good for other uses. Here is my K-Bar TDI law enforcement knife that I carry, and I've got speed loaders for my revolver. <laughs> Here is my pile of holsters. I'll go ahead and show you how they look with different outfits. I would like to start out talking about dresses and skirts because it's very hard for a woman to conceal a gun while wearing a dress or a skirt, which is why I got my thigh holster. My thigh holster works just great in the summer or dressy occasions. It's really concealable and it's really easy to walk with it on and really easy to sit down with it. So. I actually really like the thigh holster as an option. Um, if you didn't have a thigh holster, I really can't imagine where you would hide a gun on such a thin cotton dress, because I'm sure if I tried to cram it down here, you'd be able to see it. I'll be honest that summertime carry with shorts is the hardest way for me to conceal carry. An ankle, thigh, shoulder, on waistband, or pocket holster will not work in this scenario. The only way I've found to conceal well with shorts and a tank top is to carry a smaller gun such as the Caltech P380 or the Ruger LCP and to also carry it inside the waistband. I use the Crossbreed Mini Tuck in the waistband holster for the P380, which works excellent with shorts and a t-shirt or a tank top. It's really comfortable and really concealable. I ordered the Smart Carry for my Caltech P380 just to try it with shorts for a summertime option, but found for me personally it was not comfortable or concealable because there's not enough depth down inside any of my shorts to position the Smart Carry holster as deep as it needs to go to be concealed. The length of the firearm is about equal to the length of the crotch in my shorts. Right now the barrel is even 
with the crotch on my shorts, so I could not position this any deeper than it is right here. The crotch is deeper in men's pants, so they can position it much further down than I can in my shorts. Got it as low as possible. I got it where it conceals best with my shorts, but I'm still not happy with it, as I can see a bulge. And for the record, a lot of people send me emails saying, just try putting it in your pocket. Well, that would be great if my pockets were bigger, but my pockets are all very small. It either sticks out this way or it sticks out that way. And then it's hard to get out. The opening isn't actually that big. And you can see it. And I don't like putting guns in my pockets without some sort of holster around them. And obviously the gun won't even fit, let alone the gun with a holster. Moving on, here is an example of an outfit that is great with an ankle holster. Um, even though I've got a shirt over top, I couldn't wear an on the waistband or an in the waistband holder holster with these pants because it has no butt loops for my on the waistband holster and also they are extremely tight pants. There is no room in here at all for a holster. So the only option I have for this outfit because the bottoms are very big and roomy is an ankle holster. It does take some practice to draw out of an ankle holster because it takes both hands to pull up your pant leg. You cannot see it at all and I don't think anyone for the most part will be looking for a gun on your ankles. Anyway, here is the ankle holster concealed with a pair of jeans on. You really can't see it at all. And you wear it on the inside of the leg, which is opposite your drawing hand. So I wear it inside my left leg. It's also very comfortable to drive in for long distances, which I often am. When it comes to a full length dress or skirt, Honestly, I prefer the ankle holster because it's easiest to get access to the ankle holster in a long skirt or a long dress. It's very maneuverable. It's very easy to walk with it on. Um, and not only is it easy to get access to, but it's very comfortable because of all the padding on the inside that goes against my leg. I already did a video review on the Crossbreed Super Tuck, which is the holster I wear the most, so please check that out but I just wanted to show it in this video again because this is one of my favorite jackets that I wear all the time and it's a short jacket so I just tuck always my shirt underneath around the super tuck and it hides great These two holsters, they're pretty self-explanatory. For the pocket holster, as I mentioned earlier, this will not fit in any of my pockets because my pockets are very tiny in all of my pants. And also, I'm a strong advocate of on-body carry. I don't think a woman should carry in a purse or in a car if she can help it because somebody could break into your car, into your glove box, steal your gun, or steal your purse. So I say it's good to keep it on your body. but. For a pocket holster, I actually got that in case for some emergency I need to have my gun in my purse. And then it'll keep junk and debris from getting into my revolver and also it'll keep things from getting in the way of my trigger. The only pockets I've got that are big enough to actually hold my pocket holster are winter coat pockets. So in the wintertime, pocket carry is actually my method of choice because the gun is extremely accessible that way. And this pocket holster is made with a grippy material around it so when you draw the gun out of your pocket 
the holster remains stuck inside your pocket and only the gun is drawn. This is the on the waistband holster that I have. Slides onto a belt and works great if you can wear a sweatshirt or something over top of your jeans. The reason I have an on the waistband is for the times that my pants are too tight for an in the waistband holster, but the pants still have belt loops. Last but not least is my shoulder holster. My shoulder holster is probably my least favorite holster as much as I like the idea of it simply because it's hard for me to conceal a gun in in everyday clothing. It definitely has its time and place which I would like to show you. Um, for example, this style of pants is very popular. Not with me but um, I hardly ever wear skin tight pants. However, a lot of people have pants that are tight at the bottom and also tight at the top and um, an ankle holster will not work for this kind of pants. I wear this type of pants in the winter time with boots because it's easy to get the bottom into boots. So um, this holster is great for winter carry in my opinion. I'll show it, show it to you on with some winter jackets. Um, and originally when I first positioned this holster on, I put it high up so that the butt of the gun would come out straight with my chest. It puts a bulge on the side of my body this way, but when I tried it down lower, the grip on the gun stuck out in a weird place down here, which to me looked even weirder than a bulge up here. So if you had more skin here, this would work better. It would probably conceal well down low, but being petite, it was a little awkward. So I'll show you with some winter jackets. Winter jackets are poofier anyway, so I think people wouldn't be sure, regardless of what size you are, if you have a gun hidden underneath a poofy jacket. And it's very comfortable to wear this way because it's just right up here. And regardless of whether or not there's a tiny bulge in your jacket, in my case with the shoulder holster, in the winter time I tend to huddle up when I walk anyway, so my arm goes tight against the holster so no one would be able to see it that way anyhow and I carry a purse on that side so the strap of the purse also hides the shoulder holster in, in that my case. case I found that darker colored things hide the shoulder holster better and this vest the way it kind of pulls off right here hides the shoulder holster great so this black vest is one that I will wear with this shoulder holster. No bulges. And having a gun up here, it's really easily accessible. On the flip side of winter wear, this is another way that I'll wear the shoulder holster, is if I'm open carrying in the summer. I'm trying to be modest here. This is something I would wear on the beach. I like to go metal detecting in the early morning hours. Um, it's a great way to be hands-free on the beach, metal detecting or whatever, uh, whatever you're doing if your state that you're in allows open carry. Before I wrap up this video, I want to add a few final notes. Be sure to always follow the laws of the state that you are in for open and concealed carry. And don't forget to always carry your CPL on you, your actual license, because you don't want to be carrying your gun without that. Also, I want to emphasize the fact that if you do frequently change your holsters and drawing position, it will make drawing much slower in an emergency. You really don't want to forget where you've put your gun and fumble with getting it out if an emergency arises. So wherever you do decide to wear your firearms, always be sure to practice a lot of unloaded drawing from your holsters, both at the range and at home. Thanks!